Hola hermanos, bienvenido a Paramisia Fancast. Uh, el fuck, I wasn't actually like ready to like live translate this. El, el fancast que habla que el fuck, el big fuck, el gran fuck, you know. El fancast que 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 habla sobre fucking One Piece cada semana y sobre el capítulo que que sale toda la semana. En, I haven't practiced Spanish in so long. <laughs> ya tú Mi sabes. Mi nombre es Franz. Ya tú sabes. Mi nombre es Franz. <laughs> Mi nombre es Juan. <laughs> oh, Mi... ¿quién está en el estudio hoy? <laughs> no tenemos John. <laughs> tenemos Juan. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Hola, yo soy Juan. Eh... Hey. Eh, eh, no juegues con tu pene porque es hecho de lava. Ya tú sabes, man. Ya, ya tú, tú sabes. sabes. Oh, man. Uh, oh, welcome to Pure Easy Fancast, One Piece Fancast, where we reveal it as chapter One Piece and have a different One Piece related discussion every single week. My name is Franz. His name is John. Uh, it's a break week. It's, it's, it's a drought week. We don't have our, our... We have to ration. We have to, we have to eat our, our rations. Supply. Uh, y'all, y'all remember Mad Max Fury Road where where the guy, the 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 big gross guy, he was like, oh, don't don't get addicted to water now. <laughs> Oda straight up said, mm, don't get addicted to One Piece, and I'm like, but but Oda, I need I need the One Piece. He said, nope, not this week. So here we <laughs> no, are. No, no, not today. <laughs> It, it, yeah. This is our begging podcast. Yeah. Here we are, like a bunch of meth tweakers. <laughs> we're, just, we're we're just. I need it in my life. We need it, but we ain't got it. So you know what? We're gonna come up with some good old content. We're gonna generate some good old SEO. If you know what I'm saying, we are going to talk about just random shit in One Piece. <laughs> I saw it's some just people a discussion yeah, episode. I guess yeah. Yeah, I saw some people talking some stuff on uh, Twitter. There's a there's a whole Twitter thread, and uh, I thought it was a pretty interesting topic, especially because we're in Wana right now, so there's some pretty big implications for it. And then our good friend Billy <laughs> gave us the idea of, of talking about the Marines in Shout honor of Veterans Day. <laughs> yep, and not not all Marines are shitty. Yeah, in, not all Marines in are One shitty. Piece. Especially sword, <laughs> which exactly, I think, which I think we're gonna end up talking the most about probably, because <laughs> there's too much and like, I full disclosure, it's 11 p.m. where I'm at right now. No well, shit, that's not that bad. John usually records at 4 a.m. Yeah, but that that's because that's that's what he does. Because you know what, we're all that's a side effect of the of the deep cut, deep cut, no me. <laughs> You know, time becomes a deep cut. The last time you slept becomes a deep cut. <laughs> it, it's like, oh my god. This this is a really weird deep cut to to something nobody ever read. Uh in World Trigger, another shonen jump manga, there's so like I'm not even going to get into the plot. There's like one character <laughs> who's like a side character really, and his whole thing is like he he does the like thing where like if he takes a fifteen minute nap he'll like memorize everything. <laughs> oh, dude, what? So you'll like you've taken that to another level, <laughs> where you just consolidate everything in like the fifty hour periods you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> it's the the I'm on a uh, a a very dangerously modified version of the Iron Man sleeping schedule <laughs> where you take like two hour naps like. <laughs> Every four hours or some shit. I'm, look, don't take life, ad, uh, lifestyle advice from me because, uh, just don't. <laughs> but, okay, yeah, okay, Adri does bring up a good point. I do have a steady job, a wife, and everything. But my my pure distilled form is ultimate bastard, <laughs> where I would, so, like, in college, before I started dating Adri, because then she started taking up my daytime. Um, wow! You know, um, I would sleep in like three cycles a day. I'd like sleep four hours each cycle within one day. So like within a day, I'd still sleep like fucking 10, almost 12 hours 
but it would be in like really intermittent like throughout the day and honestly just don't do that <laughs> just don't destroys your blood pressure holy shit honestly just get yourself a fucking wife already <laughs> you <Exactly>. fucking losers <laughs> when, when are you gonna get a girlfriend when 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 are you gonna when are you gonna bring me kids i want, yeah. I want grandkids <laughs> <laughs> the Paramecia Bank now. as grandmother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm your grandmother now. All right. Uh, First thing on our docket, I guess I guess really quick. Yes. How did you like Stampede? Oh, yeah. I saw Stampede in, in theaters uh, the for the U.S. premiere. It was, dude, it was amazing. It was honestly like, if you're caught up with the series or you, like you watch the anime, dude, it was, it was fan service up the wazoo but like in the best way possible uh it was so good every single frame had like different characters just in the background and shit that was like oh god like panda man kept showing up revealing his true power (laughs) um it was fucking great dude i loved it i went to go see it uh funny story i went to go see it with a co-worker of mine who back in june me and one of his friends convinced him to actually start watching One Piece because for a while we had been talking about it with him and he had been all poo poo like, oh, it's good. It's, it's too long, man. It's going to take too long. We're like, bro, me, just, me, me, me. yeah, just start it. Like, it doesn't matter. Just, you're going to be good. And we finally convinced him to watch it. And right up, like, I think right when Stampede released, he was, he had just started Dress Rosa. So he he caught up fairly fast, but uh, there was still some stuff I told him. I was like, look, (laughs) there's going to be a character, Sabo, whose entire existence is going to spoil a lot of things. So (laughs) just be be ready for that. And uh, the thing I completely did not realize was that the movie took place after Whole Cake. And so Luffy had his 1.5 billion bounty. (laughs) (laughs) because <laughs> the, the the funniest thing my, my co-worker was watching it and uh luffy is fighting bullet with all the supernova and luffy blocks one of bullet's attacks and bullet says something along the lines of like he starts laughing he's like oh you really are uh worthy of your 1.5 billion berry bounty and i out of the corner of my eye i just see like fucking my co-worker like Eyes wide, just reel back. Like, what the heck? <laughs> it's, a, it's a big number, dude. <laughs> number big. Me no, <laughs> me no like big number. Uh, big number scary. Yeah. Too many yeah. zeros. The, the zero looks like the eyes of Predator. I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, overall, Stampede was really good. Um, the whole laugh tail thing. Well, still Uh, confusing in U.S. theaters. Okay, so if you saw the dub, the dub referred to everything in the way I guess it's supposed to be referred to. Um, So I guess uh, I didn't see it in the dub, but I saw Stephen Paul and somebody else was talking about it, which the thing caught me off guard. So I guess Law, so he has Room, right? And then Shambles, I guess that's supposed to be Chambers? That makes sense. Because, like, yeah. um, shambles would be like a french reading of chamber yeah and i'm like real quick like here at paramisi fancast we we speak the uh best romance language uh spanish um that's an objective fact and thusly i do not know french and i'm gonna look up if yeah <laughs> <laughs> like... yeah because they were saying that it's chambers but like the way I, yeah, I guess, yeah, the way it would be pronounced would be, like, sh- sham- sh- Shambers or whatever. Sh- it, like, Google Translate's just going, Sham. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird, man. I saw the dub in Law. I didn't know Law was Jewish. He just kept saying Shalom. <laughs> <laughs> L- sh- shalom, Straw Hat. <laughs> Dude. L- 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 Haim, I... Oh, that's why <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to team up with the Straw Hats because uh, I don't know. He knows that one one of them might not be uh, 
<laughs> one, one, he, he knows one of them might be just joking about the Jewish question. <laughs> like, Dude, well, like, here's the thing. Sanjay's already a transphobe. <laughs> so, like... Oh, no! <laughs> well, like, okay... Oh, please no! The, not, 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 not okay. my guy. He was cool. And microaggressions, stampy. microaggressions. Is it still racism? Yes. Yeah. Oh, he no. doesn't serve law kosher food, and if no. you do that, you're a terrible human being. God, like I remember, there was like one time I accidentally served Victoria like pork. And I was just like, oh, holy shit. fucking shit. Like, I'm so sorry. She was like, it's all good, dude. Like, like sure, religious shit. But, like, it just makes me shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all like, good, dude. I just have a, a blood vendetta against you forever now. <laughs> <laughs> yup. That's why she <laughs> is. And that's why she has gone out and is hunting me. That's yeah. why I'm in Japan now. <laughs> she went to med school to 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 get the opiopino me. She's gonna hit you with fucking IRL chambers, dude. She's gonna <laughs> shambles my fucking ass. I'm gonna oh, be in shambles. One, uh, gamma knife, that or radio knife. That's what she's oh gonna yeah, use. dude. She's Jeez. gonna get me confirmed. Yeah, no, Stampede was good, but I guess the dub said laugh tail, like they pronounced it laugh tail, which is. Good. I like you yeah. know, some solidarity. Except for the fact that if you saw the sub, I guess the people who did the subtitles were different from the people who did the dub or a different team or something because they just translated everything exactly as it has been, like from the anime. Um... So, like, Laugh Tale was still, even though it said on screen, like everybody in my theater could read Laugh Tale and they were still yeah. saying Raft Tale in the, in the subtitles. I was going to say that happened to me, too, but then I also realized I just, like, saw it in Japanese with no subtitles at all. Yeah. So, like, what the fuck <laughs> Dude, am I that even saying? <laughs> oh, well, that happened to me, you know? Yeah. So, I'm sure, uh, like, I don't know. I, I, I'm sure when we get to that point, it's going to end up being Laugh Tale, and this is just going to be another situation of, like, Oda kind of, like, retcon either retconning the pronunciation or just it was always supposed to be that way and translation sucked before and they're better now and now we just have to deal with, like, them fixing it now. Yeah, exactly. Because I be think that's honestly things. what it just might be. It happens. Oda's just like that, unfortunately. Because, like, so, like, I guess there could be an argument made, like, why didn't he get it right the first time? Like... Do you know how much so it in, in industries in Japan it's known as a native check to just be like hello this is some english that i'm not sure about let me hunt a native person and feast on them so i understand I, oh, and shit. show them um like the english and, and if it passes the native check it's fine like um part of my job is doing that for like tests at, at like certain levels like even at a municipal and prefectural level okay so like it, it's just like it just happens but like it's not an easy thing to do you like kind of gotta know people and so like raftel when, when the fuck was raftel first mentioned you know like uh the first mention of it was from crocus when they met him in laboon stomach right that was like, the first mention and i know for a fact in the manga like because when I got home, I opened that volume when they meet Crocus, and that translation says Raftail, like with the R. So yeah. I, I really think it's just like... It, it is what it is, and like, but it's chapter 100, and it's like, that doesn't mean like, Jump is gonna like, put money into like, hiring someone like, for two seconds to just look at some shit, you know? Yeah. Also, like, I mean just... like, I feel like One Piece gets this sort of... One Piece just has this inherent benefit because it's been going on so long and, like, the stories has so, like, so interwoven with mystery that, like, I feel like you Oda can just kind of get away with this and hand wave it as, like, oh, yeah, no, like, this is, this is, like, what it really has been the whole time, but we, it wasn't time to reveal it yet. To say, like, with uh, Gold Roger, like, every early translation was Gold Roger, and then when we learned about the Will of D, then it was mm -hmm. Gold D Roger, and it's like, oh, okay. Like, exactly. It lends itself to the whole, like, 
series, really. Like, yeah, the, this like sense of discovery as a reader. So I don't mind it. Yeah, uh, it's it's some good shit. Overall, Stampede. Um, overall movie. Ten out of nine, ten. Nine out of ten. <laughs> uh, that scene where fucking Boa Hancock is full yeah. sprint and kicks bullets like giant kaiju body yeah. and makes him reel back, bruh. Twenty out of ten. <laughs> yeah, give that that scene the fucking the the Tony the the Oscar the yeah Oscar and the Oscar Wiener. and the Oscar goes to uh, Boa Hancock. Sorry, uh, sorry, Leo, you get snubbed again. <laughs> sorry real people yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just that that's how it is um you had some questions for 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 discussion as well not just talking about stampede for the second time it, yeah so <laughs> yeah it, it, just imagine th- this is our our one piece nintendo direct so so we talked about stampede and now the little headline <laughs> is flipping up <laughs> Yeah, and the little headlines flipping up. What are they going to talk about this time? <laughs> what are we going to talk about this time, John? <laughs> the headline goes up. I'm trying to think of a, how the Nintendo narrator would say because they'd say something like, uh, um, they sound kind of like this. Is yeah, all I yeah. Hockey is back in a big way. <laughs> and then, like, the trailer starts. <laughs> that, that's good. That's good. I like that. Yeah, that's the perfect transition. Um, no, I saw, so I forget who it was. I think it was Zoro Fanboy. Uh, he's a One Piece YouTuber who also, funny story. Oh, he, you sat next to him, didn't I you? I sat, like, right next to him and we talked before the movie started about, like, uh, r- like, we talked about, because I was talking to my coworker about Robin and he was like, yeah, he's like, I heard that Dressrosa is, like, hype for everybody on the crew. And I was like, yeah, everybody except Robin. Like, she kind of gets snubbed. I was like, I don't think that's a spoiler. Just don't get your hopes too, too high for her to do something sick. And then he was like, yeah, dude. Like, I'm hoping she does stuff in Wano. And I was like, yeah, dude. And we just started talking. And the entire time I was like, he looks familiar. But I don't know. Like, maybe it's just because you know, I go to this mall a lot to see movies. So, like, maybe that's it. You know, whatever. It's a big mall. Go home, see my subscriptions. Uh, first update that night, like oh, like reaction to, or like live reaction of Stampede, and I see his face, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that guy. Yeah, but uh, anyways, on Twitter he posted a post that was basically saying he was saying that he was making the argument that it was kind of it's about it's it's time that the rest of the straw hats learn hockey and that his argument was that they needed it going forward in the new world when they're fighting all of their foes Mm. and a lot of people were going kind of back and forth on that and i thought that was a pretty because i had a i mean i had some of my own thoughts especially being in Iwano, but uh i i I don't know i thought it was a pretty interesting discussion topic because it's like at face value when i first read it i was like all right kind of Mostly because I just want to see Robin smack some hoes with uh, some, like, Mm -hmm. hockey-imbued, like, you know, arms. (laughs) Flower iron fist, dude. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. But uh, the the more I thought about it, I was like, wait a minute. Like, well, the first thing I thought of was Usopp specifically. Mm Because, like, okay, so he just unlocked, like... Okay, yeah, because the post said armament hockey. it didn't say armament hockey, but, like, I feel like that's what he meant. Like, they need armament hockey in order to fight Devil Fruit users going forward. Because uh, Usopp unlocked observation hockey. And, I mean, as as far as we know, he's been, you know, training it, assumedly, uh, since he got to Wano. Hopefully he has. Yeah, assumedly. Yeah. But uh, th- the first thing I thought of was, he, he d- like, Usopp specifically doesn't need... He doesn't need armament hockey if he has something else to compensate for it. And the first thing I thought of was, uh, like, when Hawkins was fighting Law in Wano and he shot the sea stone like, nail into, mm-hmm. into into Law and it completely, like, nullified his Devil Fruit power. Like, yeah. They're in the land of Wano and they got, like, they, they, <laughs> they won't shut the hell up about how good their stonesmiths <laughs> are. <laughs> like... I'm thinking yeah. if 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 Usopp, the sniper of the crew, gets access to like some sea stone bullets of some kind, like I think that would take him further than than armament hockey would, because like 
Yeah, it's it, more useful because like, yeah, what, it what's effectively he gonna do? does the punch same someone? thing. Yeah. Like, Wait, what happened? What, what's he gonna do? Punch someone? Like? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you you can't just like like okay. Theoretically, the way that they're rationalizing hockey armament hockey in Wano, sure, like you could theoretically like have a gun, put your shit in the bullet of the gun, <laughs> yeah, fire the bullet, like fire the gun, and then like project your armament hockey through but that seems like so tedious and ridiculous yeah it just seems pointless to me yeah though it really i do want to bring up that there is like in the in favor of like only getting one type of hockey there's a quite a large amount of people who do have like only one type of hockey uh, according to the wiki yeah like and a lot of these are situations where, like, oh, they're only, like, proven so far or something like that. But, yeah, yeah. Um, characters like Hyogoro Kawamatsu and X-Drake, they mm. all o- allegedly only have armament hockey. We'd have to wait till we get, like, uh, God, what's it called? The Vivri cards? Yeah, sure. yeah. But, like, the, the opposite, like, for observation, like... There's Rebecca, Kobe, and Helmeppo that who only like have only have yeah yeah because I think like because even so yeah the characters with like Kobe specifically okay like if he doesn't have armament hockey but he has like according to the story he has like really powerful observation hockey because he was able to like he was able to see that torpedo going towards uh the Dressrosa ship right. And he was able to swim and stop it before and before any of the other Marines even noticed the ships, the enemy ships. Like, before they even saw the enemy ships, he was already, like, stopping them. Uh, and even Helmeppo says something like, how monstrous is your observation hockey? That's um, true, yeah. But that, that just is another point in favor of, like, I don't think the Straw Hats absolutely need armament hockey, per se. Because there's, as long as they have... A big part of this argument is like as long as they have another way to compensate for their weakness, I think they can get by without armament hockey. Uh, so in the case of of Kobe, like okay, he has observation hockey, but he also like uses the six powers that he learned from uh, right that he learned from um, um, oh my god, Garp. And it's like okay, like he doesn't have hockey, but he ha- he definitely has access to the six powers, so he can use like. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he can use like Rokuga on the final, like seventh one or whatever that 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 uh, Tiger Boy could use. But like what for sure, he can did use. That do? It was the when you know all of the six paths, and then the seventh path. It was like that air cannon that uh, what's his face did to uh, Luffy. Uh, hmm? when he holds his hands out like one on top of the other, and he just uh... like air blasts Luffy. Dude, the six powers were fucking weird. Yeah, the the six powers were like I think Oda's like experimentation, like before hockey, and then he was like, "Nah, this shit's way too confusing." <laughs> like, yeah, no, no kidding. Yeah, I do think though that like okay, it's not fair to put Nami at like a non-combatant like position. Same thing with Chopper. Yeah, but. Like, the way they fight is so, like, different from everything else. Yeah, they're very... Well, uh, N- Nami in particular is very, like, non-confrontational, like, direct confrontation. Like, she'll fight you, but she's constantly keeping herself out of, like, the front line while she's fighting you. Because she has Zeus, and she's able to, like, manipulate the weather with mirages and stuff. There's no need for her to have um uh, armament hockey, really. Yeah, and she like, has Zeus. Like she has the she has the soul of a of a Yonko <laughs> at her I disposal. Think she's good. So Nami's good. Um I the only thing I'd think of for like uh I, I, I forget who brought it up, but I saw somebody tweet about it and I was like, Oh, that's an interesting thing, because I didn't think about that. Is Devil Fruit Awakening, specifically they, they mentioned Chopper. So like Chopper has monster point. Yeah. We, and like it's not necessarily i mean chopper himself is not gonna tell us like oh my monster point is like devil fruit awakening i don't don't even think he knows but like but uh, i've seen some people say like oh like monster point does everything that like 
the awakening does for zone users like maybe that maybe like that's his awakening and he can like tap into it it really seems to be the case and and we've like brought it up as well like quite a few times yeah cuz and the it, same thing with like Brooke and uh, Robin like who knows if they have awakening or not but like they definitely like advance in their own ways and like Bro- Brooke's another example of someone who doesn't really need hockey cuz like he's got his whole like spirit thing like that's yeah ascends from like any like it's <laughs> it's how so, do you defend like, against that yeah it's it's so powerful like because it's like it's like technically like oh it's like it's oh soul power is like that's the fourth kind of hockey but not really but like he could fight people that he like he can hit people that he shouldn't be able to hit but like he can because the soul power is like it's it's crazy yeah, I don't know, it's I'd, nuts <laughs> I'll forever stand by, like, I don't think Brooke needs armament hockey because he went one-on-one against <laughs> Big Mom and lived with his soul powers. And he injured, uh, I mean, not gravely injured, but he, he, he was able to put marks on uh, Zeus and Prometheus. So I, I think I, I count that as a win. That's true. I will say, though, like, is hockey, like, specifically, like, a life force or is it, like, a sp- a will like spiritual like thing yeah i i know so like the di- i think the direct translation of it is like literally like your willpower hmm. um like one's one's willpower or right. like the yeah uh that's like the the literal like translation of it i guess he could still have like hockey but like i don't he know he has a weird like deviant form of it with the, with the soul stuff yeah cuz like him and big mom were fighting on some other plane of power because they had all the soul powers and like he was i mean he was able to directly like affect the souls that she put like the souls that she took out or the life force that she took out of people and put into the homies he was like directly able to like extract like extract those for his own use and it's like oh shit okay like they they got a whole nother power dynamic going on it it really is like a completely different like strata of like conversation when it comes to hockey because it's kind of like it's kind of like okay sure you can talk about photons and shit but then like once people are started talking about like photons like bending around the fucking sun like shit and whatever and like is it a wave? Is it a particle? Like it gets like real nitty gritty, and like it. I think that is the point where I'm willing to like concede that like yes, that is something that like can be discussed. But me personally, I've tapped out because that it's turned into math. I don't know where the numbers are, but it's turned into math. Yeah, for maybe because sure. I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel you, man. It's it's uh. When it when it starts getting into like the real number crunchy like power scaling stuff, I'm like, all right, like I'm I'm out, <laughs> I'm good. I will say though, I think it'd be nice for Robin to have like at least observation hockey, considering yeah. that she's like the quote unquote spy. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know, like it's just weird. Like we haven't. I mean, okay, I I assume that she well, okay, she was over the time skip training with uh the revolutionaries. And Dragon seemed real fond of her, and so did Koala and Sabo. So I'm just assuming that she was training with them. But it's just like, I don't know what she... Was she just training, like, her devil fruit? Like, was was the the most of her training, like, what we've seen? Like, she's able to make Big Robin? (laughs) Is that... I I really do doubt that for two years she just spent all of her time being like, what if foot but big? Yeah, what what if if foot but big? Arm but big. What if yeah. me but big? Oh shit! That's that's the one. <laughs> that's the Dude, one. I'm I'm telling you, it's it has to happen at some point, and like everyone's gonna have the same reaction as like the 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 big shogun, uh, yeah, robot. Like, because like instead of it being like a Megazord, it's like Ultraman. You know, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, indulge me for a second, dude. They're on Onigashima, and they have to fight the numbers, those big-ass ogre guys. We got <gasps> Shogun Frankie coming in, but there's one that they still have to fight, and Robin fucking goes Ultraman. Like, she just makes a big clone of herself. Dude, I 
Ooh, that would be so oh, good. At, at the very least, I need to see, like, her power's too good. Oda, you need to use it more. I, I, at the very least, if it's not a whole, like, giant body, it giant torso. I'll settle for torso. Yeah, I'll settle and, for some, uh, for some, uh, what is it, Su- Susano shit from Naruto. <laughs> like, <laughs> the torso coming out of the ground, like, right where she's standing. Like, I'll settle for that. I think she could just do, like, Susano, but not on fire. Dude, yeah. I, she, I, I, I think, think she, she just doesn't, like, out of, like, morality and, like, and copyright. Sensi- <laughs> copyright and sensitivity towards Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> like, how fucked would that be to just be like, hey, my bones are on the outside. I have flesh, but my bones are on the outside now. Like, if I was Brooke, I'd be pissed. Yeah, what the, what the fuck, Robin? You're stealing my <laughs> shit. Fucking insensitive, dude. Robin, listen, I know you came, I know you joined this thing before me, and that's fine, you know, but like, don't, st- you're, you're getting all over my stuff, you're, 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 you're jumping all into my joint, all right, man? <laughs> like, this is my shit, yeah. don't you fucking take it from me. Do you know how hard it is to have bones and being dead be your shit? <laughs> I, I didn't think so. Step off. Do you know how hard it is to come up with these fucking skull jokes? <laughs> like... I can only say I don't have eyes so many times. Yeah. Oh, Brooke, I'm sorry. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> passive aggressive, angry Brooke, <laughs> I think might be the most powerful Brooke. Because it, it's so unimaginable yeah. from like <laughs> a- how his character stands right now that like if we were to like really see that, like it's flabbergast. Like I would quadruple quintuple take. Brooke pulling aside Big Mom and Hoke Kailin. Uh, get, get, Lin Lin, what, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I already have the soul thing. Yeah, well, but this is my my fruit. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You ate that old lady, but this is my thing. Like, why why are you doing this? <laughs> you are stepping on my shoes, yeah. so to speak. <laughs> if I didn't, like, you're stepping on my feet if I had them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, man. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, this, I don't know. This, this, it was. I thought it was an interesting topic to bring up. I definitely don't think that they need arm and hockey. Uh, the caveat to that is if they have something else to compensate, because I feel like One Piece is a series where the power structures are pretty, or the power systems are pretty varied and balanced. Where like, as long as a character has one thing, I think that they can stand up to somebody who has another thing. You know. Like, I yeah. feel like if if Robin got, like, if her power isn't already awakened, if she got Devil Fruit Awakening, like, I don't, I think she would be able to use that to her advantage, and she'd be able to overpower people who, like, even if they have armament hockey, it doesn't matter, because she could fucking turn the floor into feet or some shit. <laughs> like, turn the floor into feet. Huh. It's, uh... <laughs> You, you said that, huh? As, as Dan Schneider's awakening. <laughs> Dan Schneider, Dan Schneider, no me. Dude, I can't help but think of like Dan Schneider in fucking Blackbeard's like pirate coat and just like Zay ha 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 and just like holding feet. Like, he's he's an actual <sighs> villain. I I hate this. <laughs> Dan Schneider is a villain. Like that's that's not what I hate. I hate <laughs> seeing. I hate. I hate thinking about him. <laughs> you hate Blackbeard as the Dan Schneider as or Blackbeard as played by Dan Schneider. I'm in hell. I'm in hell. <laughs> I, I'm in hell. <laughs> the next n- next Nintendo Direct topic. Uh, <laughs> not all Marines are bastards. <laughs> um. So, thank you for coming to my TED talk. I don't, so, okay, I don't really like the Marines, like, too, too much. Like, there are some very interesting characters in them, and there's some people with, like, actual good moralities. Yeah. But I would like to call your attention to the Marine. He he is a captain. His name is Very Good. Is How, how good is he? Very. That That's it. <laughs> that's His it. name's Very Good. I Thank you. he he was at the Buster Call for Enos lobby and he has a berry berry the berry 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 which is a paramecia fruit where you know, he basically has the Rayman fruit 
where he just like separates his body. It's the buggy thing, but better. But orbs, buggy, but orbs, B- buggy, but orbs. Yeah, Rayman, you know, but like PS2 Rayman. <laughs> yeah, there's not much else about him, really. Yeah. Just that <laughs> he's the he's only very Rayman good saving. <laughs> he's yeah. the only. He's the only. It, it's his name. <laughs> I don't make the rules. That's it. Next That's headline. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Nah. No. The uh, for, in honor of in honor of uh, in honor of Billy, in honor of Veterans Day, we'll talk about some good Marines because we just recently got the introduction to Sword in in the manga, and I know we talked about it a little bit in that episode, but like I feel like we can kind of get a little more into the discussion here. Uh. What the fuck, dude? Sword? <laughs> what the hell is that? So, it, my my first question is, like, is Sword an independent, but, like, still, like, with... Is it Sword independent of the Marines, but operating within? It... That seems to be the case. Right? And I okay. only say that because, okay, like, X-Drake is a captain in Sword. I believe it said captain, right? Or he's like, yeah, so, yeah, he's a captain in the sword, but like, unless it's like mega hyper top secret, and like, I the, the way I see it is okay. If sword is a a well known thing within the Marines, and it's like kind of supposed to be top secret, the people who would know would be the admirals. And when he fought Kizaru in Sabori, like he had zero idea. Like he, he like Kizaru made it. Kizaru said something along the lines of like, "Oh, like, um, like you really do live up to your nickname." Like something along the lines of like, "Oh, you betrayed the Marines. Like you really are Red Flag Drake or something like that." Ah, uh, yeah. He said something that was like, like that made direct reference to him like betraying the Marines, and it's like I don't, I don't think he would have said that if he knew that. Like, I don't think he would have even. I mean, he might have clashed with him, but I don't think he would have said anything to X Drake. If he knew about sword, that's uh, very true. Yeah, yeah. Also, the fact that they have to like talk about it in in secret on the ship, um, <laughs> mostly because like okay, it's a secret organization within the Marines, but like he's talking to X Drake, and if people see that he's talking to like a pirate, that's gonna be like really weird. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Well, like, uh, so I was gonna say like he won't like it's a phone. They're not gonna know who he's talking to but like smail they take the yeah. form so like is that like, oh, shit, that's a pirate uh no <laughs> so why is it why is it a t-rex um <laughs> like <cosplay>. dinosaurs <laughs> yeah it's yeah it's it's halloween you idiot <laughs> exactly fucking don't be a prude <laughs> adri says it's caller id and honestly oh how shit. have we never thought of that holy shit is 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 the the snails transforming? Is it just caller ID? <laughs> it's just caller ID. <laughs> I don't know exactly shit. how they do it, but it's caller ID. That's too fucking good. <laughs> Holy shit! Have we never thought about that before? She's a genius. What? Like, come on, <laughs> come on, my wife. <laughs> oh man, she's Oda. We've we've talked about this. before. Yeah. Oh, shit! Oda. I forgot we have talked about this before. God damn. But. Yeah, no, I, it, it's, Sword is very interesting, because now it's like, now everything's off, no, nothing's off the table now, because it's like, okay, like, who could be part of Sword? I, okay. I'm very convinced that Aokiji is part of Sword. Yes. Whether we Akainu talked... knows he is or not is another True. story, but... We, we did talk a lot about that, like, Aokiji and Akainu, but what about the other admirals? I, I think it's safe to say that Borsalino Kizaru does not know. Yeah, he does not know. I if if anybody would be a part of it, I would think it would be Fujitora. Yeah, of the other the two because Fujitora is a bro. <laughs> like, when he came in and stampede and summoned that meteor, I felt that. But Adri no, no, was no. seeing that shit and she was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the guy with the asteroid and stampede. That was the same thing. My coworker was like, "That's the." Ga- that's the old gambler guy from the casino and in, in, like in the episode i just saw on dress rosa that he sees him someone immediately he's like what the fuck <laughs> i was like yo you, you are spoilers, not ready spoilers for- yeah you are not ready for this man but uh dude fucking 
Yeah, there, I think there's... if anybody, it'd be <laughs> he, he would be part of. He'd be pretty high ranking member of Sword. Yeah, because he's like definitely... all about justice, like his blind justice. But like, I feel like the fact that his justice is blind justice would make him more inclined to join something like Sword. You know? Yeah, there, because like, hmm, he his blind justice would like auto correct itself basically to find like something that is like actually center yeah oh god yeah fujitora is a centrist, centrist. <laughs> oopsie daisy oh god well uh this is probably the only week we can actually use this meme okay boomer Okay, Boomer. <laughs> Fujita, look, I'm just saying you have no physical proof of the Void Century even happening. <laughs> like, okay, Boomer. <laughs> Robin, okay, Boomer. Oh no. Oh, oh Jesus. Man. Yeah, it's 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 interesting when you think when you go down the line like who's part of Sword. Because another thing is like, okay, Kobe's part of Sword. Is Garp part of Sword? Question mark? Because he has to be. He has we got, to. Yeah, we got some pretty damning information about him in uh, the chapter where, fuck, what was it, 960 or 961, when they revealed the Yonko bounty posters. Uh, Sengoku was telling us about Garp back in the day. And they said that he yeah. was the, he got his name by being the hero of the Marines because he partook in the God Valley incident against Rocks with Roger. But he specifically mentioned that even though he didn't want to, he was fighting to protect celestial dragons. And like he said, he ex- like Garp or uh, Sengoku stated that Garp explicitly did not want to help them, but he was doing it for some reason. And uh right. And just everything about Garp like after that chapter when you go back and look, it's like he doesn't like to take even when they first talked about rocks and they called him the hero of the marines, like he doesn't like to take the credit for anything and he doesn't really He's just like he's just like a lot of the other characters. Like he does he's a marine, but he doesn't care about like the royalty or even the celestial dragons. For him it's kind of like a paycheck and like yeah. Personally, I don't really respect that much, but like you know, his morality is like pretty sound it seems. Yeah, his 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 morals are in the right place for the most part. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cause it's Don't like, know you, how far that goes, though. Yeah, because like you see him there, and he's like going along with it because he's going along with Ace's execution in the Paramount War, and it's like okay, like he's part of the Marines, but like he doesn't want this to happen. But then he's also willing to like attempt to kill Akainu when Akainu kills Ace, and it's like okay, but like couldn't you have like I I know he probably couldn't. Well, I I mean that's a whole nother discussion. Could he have? stopped that like uh could he have stopped you know ace from getting like executed like i don't know maybe but (laughs) it it goes into information that we don't know because like if he did he could have just let ace escape but then it's like well he'd have to give up his job and like it it seems like it's a lot yeah yeah it's a whole wormhole of stuff given that ace was gold roger's son it might have been like not not even like his hands were tied like it, it might have just been like a uh, like socio-political like thing ingrained to like everyone's mind like holy shit he is like the devil child yeah yeah like it, it just might have been like a societal thing yeah for sure i don't know yeah go ahead all this discussion about sword we never a- we've never asked this like really important question what about shanks <gasps> see hmm? That mm. I don't know. See, look, when Shanks appeared in yeah. front of the Gorosei, when That's my man, fucked. when my man Uzumaki Khan said Shanks is working with the government, oh no, this can't be true. I felt that shit straight through yeah. the heart. <laughs> like, I, I, I mean, you, you can ask our Discord. You can go back and listen to our episodes. I've been a big proponent of uh, Shanks as a narc. Shanks as a cop. <laughs> I don't uh, trust Shanks. <laughs> like, I I really don't. And like, like but, as a, as a piece of literature, like you know, there has to be some like contention between, um, like Shanks and Luffy in order, like, not just like this whole like benign like 
what, what's it fuck what's it called king of the pirates shit like no, none of yeah. that like it has to be like something like to their core values that like mismatches kind of like the admirals have their own like justice the blind justice lazy yeah. justice etc um i feel like all the like yonko plus luffy have their own like because like the whole like pirate thing is freedom right as opposed yeah. to justice which is a crazy thing to like put as a dichotomy and speaks a lot about like presumed politics that oda may or may not have yeah but i do think that like everyone has their own style of freedom quote unquote that we just don't have like put in our face you know yeah and like shanks could be a part of sword i i wouldn't rule that out thinking about it now because uh, he does it, have it, he somehow got into marriage and i yeah. don't think it was like okay i i don't think that like i mean i I don't know. I I guess it could just be because he's a Yonko. He rolls up in a boat to the Marines, and he's just like, "Oh, I want to speak to the Gorose." I'm sure, like, I'm sure the Marines would be like, "Uh, holy fuck, okay, like, like, like go ahead." But I don't it's know. It's just, it's just it's just the sort of thing. Like, would would they just let him in with like zero precaution, or would it even be possible for him to sneak into Marijua? Mm. Because, like, mm. that, it seems impossible, but if he was a member of, like, S.W.O.R.D. and he knew some people on how to get in, I it mean, would that's make a different sense. story. Yeah. yeah. But it's not like the Gorose, like, were surprised to see him. Yeah. They, they, they talked to him as if they had talked to him before. Because they're like, oh, like, what are you doing here? We don't have time. Like, well, they specifically said, we're only talking to you because it's you. So he's done something for them in the past, I, I assume. Narc. <laughs> he's a cop. Yeah, he's a fucking cop, dude. I, I'm tired it, it of this bullshit. Sucks to say, like, like, uh, if the if they well they exist in the One Piece world, uh, cool cops, and that's Sword <laughs> because so far, Sword is a bunch of cool cops. They're hip and they obey the law. They're their law stands. They like they like following following the law for all people. I just uh, the the social construct, not the not the character <laughs> law. Um, yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that there's too many people. Like, I don't, I don't think that sword is like really like broad reaching. I think if there, if there's anybody outside of the Marines that's part of sword, it has to be Shanks. I don't think there's a revolutionary who's part of sword. Yeah, I don't think so either. And is there like really any? V- other faction like we've got marines we've got pirates we've got revolutionaries there's not re- mountain bandits mm-hmm. zidane leader of sword <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no but i uh, yeah i i don't think that any pirates are part of sword because i'm oh x drake but like x drake was a marine and i think he still counts himself as a marine even if he's like Morally, yeah, he Going he's like really lined pirate. up with that. Yeah, right. But he's undercover. Like, are you gonna yeah, call an yeah. undercover cop not a cop? Like, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> you're 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 just begging to get uh, what's it called? Uh, entrapped. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, so come I, on. Yeah, I I, I wake don't... up, sheeple. <laughs> wake up, sheeple. This has been their plan the whole time. Yeah, I I really think that uh. Sword is sort of a a super duper tight knit like in house sort of thing within the Marines, you know. Like for I'm I'm for sure Aokiji has to be. There, I, there, yeah. If he's not, I would be very surprised. But I really do think he is. Especially but is how Aokiji big he was. alive? Hmm. Hmm. I think so. I mean, he was alive in Punk Hazard. <laughs> but uh, all and the, that what, was like. Almost but a decade ago. I rest my case. I forgot about the, the theory. When when we saw Blackbeard, he was holding some glasses, and everybody was like, those are Aokiji's glasses. He killed Aokiji. And it's like, oh, no, guys. <gasps> of all the characters to off-screen, I, <laughs> I really, really doubt Oda would off-screen Aokiji. Uh, off-screening Absalom is unfortunately okay. Yeah, off-screening Absalom... Fine by me, dude. Take him. You know what? Bring him back and do it again. I don't care. <laughs> but, I mean, 
Yeah, fuck him. Fuck Aokiji, actually. Oh, Off screen him. Oh, give shit. us an give us another admiral. Just re roll. Dude, Oda with the ultimate power play never reveals Green Bull and off screens him. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest fuck you to everybody reading One Piece. Oh, y'all want to guess the ending? All right, fuck you. <laughs> he just looks like a silhouette the whole time. It's like in a. Oh my god, I've. I'm gonna have to look something up. And we're almost at like the hour mark, but I think I've got the crack theory. Oh God! Oh, we're we're good. We're good. I can. Uh, it's not really much left to say about that. Just like sword, very tight knit within the Marines, I believe. I don't think anybody else outside of the Marines would be in sword. And even then, I don't think that m- there are many Marines in sword. I think it's really the Marines that are sort of morally opposed to the Celestial Dragon's way of governing things. And like the Goro say, I think that that is the people who would align themselves with Sword. Uh, Fujitora, I would love to see revealed as part of Sword. Uh, God, I'd like to see Vegapunk like be in on this whole Sword thing. That would be like dark horse crazy shit. Yeah, and even like I know they're not big shots, but I mean neither is fucking Kobe, dude. I want to see Smoker and Tashigi as part of Sword. Because they're the first Marines that we've ever, like, they're the first Marines we ever met that were, like, major. And they're also the first Marines that have, like, this sort of uh, morality to them. Like, they're they're not just, like, these faceless, like, law-abiding Marines. Like, Hina, Captain Hina, or whatever she is now, love her to death, oh. her power's cool. Uh, she's, she's a, a cop. cop. She's a fucking cop, dude. <laughs> like, there's no if, and, or but. She's, she's like, a super cop cop uh there's that guy uh bastille super cop bastille mega cop i think more like bastard the only marine other than smoker and tashiki that i will respect is uh panda man himself because panda man is oh shit well that was the movie is that canon panda man's everywhere panda man is eem oh shit this entire time the One Piece manga has just been an excuse for Oda to actually write his his extended universe story for Ultimate Muscle Kaniku Man. <laughs> oh no. Not not this again. Angered by the fact that Shonen Jump just disregarded Panda Man and didn't include him in Kaniku Man, Oda set off on a fucking like 25 year journey <laughs> to make Kaniku Man and Panda Man canon. Dude, Luffy's gonna get punched straight through the fucking throat by Panda Man, and he's gonna be wearing, like, Eames hat. <laughs> Dude, holy shit, can you imagine, like, final fight of the series starting, somebody in a giant-ass hat punches fucking Luffy, and then, like, the silhouette st- starts to reveal itself, and it's just fucking Panda Man. <laughs> Confirmed. Like, I... It, it, Oda's right here next to me. She's right here. She confirms yeah. it. She confirms it, so it's true. Uh, um, that, yeah, that's, that's it, uh, though. That's everything. That was that was our uh, our break week. Uh, in One Piece direct brought directly to you. Um, I was channeling my uh, Iwata doing the hand motions. I, I, I realized heard, I heard the a, hand motions. Yeah, I realized no. in a in a vocal format that doesn't really <laughs> no, 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 no audio I heard it. format i heard it all right thank you <laughs> yeah i'm here for you but uh yeah that's gonna wrap it up for us this week don't forget to follow all of our social media we are at paramecia cast on twitter paramecia fancast everywhere else facebook youtube any other social media we're on just paramecia fancast and you'll find us Episodes come out every single week on paramesiafancast.libsyn.com. And as soon as they're uploaded there, they get automatically sent to every single podcast, podcatcher website you can find. So they'll be up on Stitcher, uh, Google Play, iTunes, Spotify, the works, uh, YouTube. They, uh, I upload them to YouTube like a couple hours later because YouTube upload is like whack. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes forever. And then God forbid, sometimes... Sometimes I've uploaded one of the videos and I set it to upload. Nothing else was happening on my computer. And then it was just like, oh, there's a problem. You have to redo it. And I'm like, wow. Wow. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> it's piss. I, I I recently recorded 
myself playing PvP on Destiny, uh, honestly for no reason whatsoever. I was just like, I'll I'll be a gamer today, a true gamer, and uploading that shit to fucking YouTube just it was <laughs> <laughs> took Pack so long. I took a shot. I could have gone to sleep in that time, wasting my fucking time. <laughs> waste of my time yeah but those are those are going to be coming out um every single week as well i do want to i'm not going to make any promises as to when but i have definitely started uh i i've wanted to make some youtube videos on our channel for a while other than just the, the podcast so i have one in the works about why i like fishman island so much <laughs> <laughs> basically the giving a reason for everybody to like hate me uh, so I, I i've been working on a script and i've been going through like the manga and like sourcing i've been sourcing everything apa uh-huh. style hey that fucking it's your thesis take yeah. it to grad school it's my grand thesis uh so i i have no no uh hard uh confirmation or or I, it's coming out yes <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that, that that's as that's as a that's as much as I can confirm. Yeah. Is it, well, when we'll is it coming testing, out? Yes. We'll be testing the waters with some other content as well. Uh, yeah. Some non One Piece stuff, maybe. Yeah. We had also been kind of kicking around the idea of maybe doing a a sort of kind of quick and dirty like Shonen Jump, uh, like for the week Shonen Jump like manga recaps because we we read. I mean, we don't really talk about it on the Discord too. Sometimes we, well, we do sometimes, but uh, sometimes. U- usually every week, we we like before we started recording, we were reading the new My Hero that just came out, and uh, I know I know we're also you and me are up to date on uh, Demon Slayer. I actually have not read the last two chapters. I think <laughs> so. But I you gotta you count as up to date. <laughs> yeah, close enough. Close enough. Yeah, but uh. Yeah, I, I, we read a bunch of the Shonen Jump like comics, so we've we've been kicking around the idea of maybe doing a little shorter form, uh, just kind of review of the chapters, sort of recap like reactions to the chapters, and putting that up on the YouTube as well. Yeah, um, easy. Peasy. We got some ideas kicking for the YouTube, so d- you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe to the YouTube because uh, the podcast will go up there every single week. So if you don't see it on like. For some reason, you miss it on like Spotify or like iTunes. Like you'll definitely see it if you're subscribed on YouTube. And then we're gonna try to be posting some other stuff there. So stay tuned. Exactly. And I think, and and John, remove this if if you don't think. But eventually, I feel like it'd be nice to like when we have the time. I don't know if I cannot promise it this month or, <laughs> um. So. I don't know if this is something we're going to actually do, but I've been thinking a little bit like we could probably like live stream like every so often. Oh, yeah, for sure. And like we... play yeah, games, think... and just talk yeah, shit about dude, One for Piece. Sure. For sure. Dude. I'd, I'd love to do that shit. Paramecia Fancast stream. Uh, rule number one about Paramecia Fancast live screen. Uh, nobody talk about One Piece. Insta ban if you do. <laughs> exactly. One Piece banned. Yeah. <laughs> We only talk about Naruto and Bleach. Actually, <laughs> fuck Naruto. We only talk about Bleach on our live streams. Yeah, we only talk about Bleach. And specifically, we only talk about the page, The Heart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and and the artistic uh, genius that that page is. Exactly, exactly. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm Fuck it. Uh, yeah, for sure. Big things coming for us on all of our... Uh, on on all of our uh content channels so do all stay tuned shit. follow us on twitter for the updates and follow us on youtube yeah but for for sure yeah we will we'll definitely try to stream something something anything we can, we can commit to this we can commit to this <laughs> hey i've got fucking jackbox Ooh, jackbox yes, is a stream, stream friendly thing we'll figure it out yeah but uh yeah that's that's everything for this week did you have the crack theory so this is going to be a little bit of a deep cut Unless you know Detective Conan, this is not going to make any sense. But both Eem-sama and Green Bull are actually not from the One Piece universe, but rather they are the criminal from Detective Conan from Case Closed. They are every single criminal 
All of them. Eam and Greenbull are the same person. They're all the criminal. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine, like, getting into case closed thinking that <laughs> the criminal is, like, a single, so- like, actual character? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, only, man, to f- only to find out. It's the big bad guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, the final villain confirmed. <laughs> Dude, he's Eam. 